Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D looking uh, beveled orb using Inkscape. Sort of like what you see here for this picture I'm going to use for the thumbnail of the video. I'm going to show you how you can create something like that. Um, that's something I used before myself in the past in my previous company, HD Media. As you can see, I took the HD logo and I uh, sort of engraved it into that, that sphere. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can do the same today. So. Let's get started. All right, so when you first open up Inkscape, it should look like this. Go to View. Make sure you have Custom selected. Zoom, one to one. And then go to File, Document Properties. And let's uncheck these two boxes. Make sure all three, un all three boxes are unchecked. Close that out and come up here to the Levels button. It's actually align and distribute objects. So we're going to click that. And it's going to bring up this menu here. From this drop down right here, make sure you have last selected chosen. Okay, and after that, we're going to go over here to this button that says edit objects, colors, gradient, stroke. We're going to click that. We're going to open that up. Okay, uh, first things first, let's uh, create a circle. We're going to click the uh, circle button. Hold your control key on your keyboard and click and drag to create a perfect circle. I'm going to create a perfect circle like that. Uh, let's make that a little bigger. Let's make that about that big. Okay. And then let's turn it black and have the opacity down here where it says opacity. Drop that in half. Somewhere in the 50s. It doesn't have to be exactly 50. Just somewhere in half. Just, you know, just a general idea. Go to edit duplicate that and then turn that red okay now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to this top arrow hold the control key click and drag that and make it about make it about that big and then hold your control key again and click and drag this circle up to about up to about there you want it about one third you want the bottom of the circle to be about one third of the way through the, the bottom circle. It doesn't have to be exact, just, just a general idea. And then go to edit and let's duplicate that again and let's turn that one blue. Now let's hold the control key again, click and drag that blue circle, bring it up to about, let's say about there, that looks good. Now hold shift and alt and click on that blue circle again so you have both the blue and the red circle selected. Go to path, difference. Now holding down your shift key, click on the black circle so you have both of those selected. Go to path, difference, and you should end up with something like that. Now with that selected as it currently is, let's go to path, break apart, and let's go up here and deselect everything. Now we're going to click this top, this top half of the circle, and we're going to go to edit, duplicate, let's turn that red. We're going to duplicate it again. Edit, duplicate, turn it blue. Hold your control key and click and drag. Click and drag it up about, uh, I'd say about that far. And then hold shift and click that, click on it again so you have both the blue and the red selected. And go to path, difference. So you should end up with something like that. Now we're going to come down here to the bottom half of the circle and we're going to do the same thing. Click on that, edit, Duplicate. Let's turn that red. Edit. Duplicate. Turn that blue. Hold control and click and drag this down. You want it to be about the same thickness as the one on top. About that much is good. Hold shift and alt and click on it so you have both the blue and the red selected. Path. Difference. So we end up with something like this right here. Now you can click the deselect button. Let's deselect everything. Now we're going to create another circle. This one's going to be much smaller. Come over here, hold your control key, click and drag, create a circle. Uh, we're going to make it, let's make it about that big. Okay. Now come over here to the arrow. And with that selected, hold your shift key and press, uh, Hold shift and click on the top half of this black circle and come over here where it says center on vertical axis. We're going to click that once, 
so it centers it up on the graphic and you're going to deselect everything with this button right here. Now let's click on just this blue circle, hold control, click and drag it down to about here. You want it to be about evenly over that gap. It doesn't have to be exactly even, but you know, somewhere in that general area. Okay. Now let's go to edit, duplicate, let's turn that green, and hold control and shift and let's click on let's let's drag this corner and, and and enlarge it to about to about there somewhere in that general size like I said it doesn't have to be exact and we're going to duplicate that three more times so edit duplicate one edit duplicate two edit duplicate three now with that last one selected hold shift and click on this top half of the black circle go to path difference now let's click the next green circle, hold shift, click on this red, this red little crescent we created earlier, so we have them both selected, and go to path, difference, click on the next green circle, hold shift and click, click on the bottom red crescent, and go to path, difference. Okay, now click this last green circle, hold shift and click on the bottom the bottom piece of the black square path difference so we end up with something like that okay now let's deselect everything and let's click on this blue this blue circle let's go to edit duplicate and let's turn that one red and holding sh uh, control and shift click and drag this bigger than that the previous green circle we're going to go up to about here you want to make this about that big all right, and we're going to want to duplicate that. Go to Edit, Duplicate. Now let's go up to this top black half of the circle. Edit, Duplicate, and holding Shift, holding your Shift key, click on the red circle, so you have both those selected, and go to Path, Intersection. Now we're going to click on the bottom, the other red circle. Hold shift. Oh wait, no, first, first let's duplicate this. Go to the bottom black, bottom half of the black circle, edit, duplicate, holding your shift key, click the red circle so you have them both selected, and go to path, intersection. So we're going to end up with something like that. All right. Now let's come up here to this top half of that circle we just created. Let's click on that and let's hold shift and click on this red lining right here. So you have both of them selected, path, union. And that's going to make that one, one piece like that. Okay. Now let's go down here to this bottom circle, click on that, hold shift, and then click on the bottom red uh, crescent, go to path, union, and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to make that one whole piece just like that. All right. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to click on this bottom half of the black circle. We're going to hold shift and then click on the top half of the black circle and go to path, union, and we're going to come over here to the opacity and let's slide this all the way to the right. We want to make that full opacity because we're going to color this thing in now. Okay, so let's go, come down here to your color, your color slider. Let's slide this over and let's find like a nice medium shade of blue, something like this. I think that works. You don't want it too dark like this and you don't want it too light like that. You want somewhere right in the middle. Something something like that. I think that works. And come over here to where it says fill. Make sure you have the HSL tab open. You don't want the RGB or the CM1K. Okay, we're going to use the, the HSL for the sake of this tutorial. And come over here to where it says radial gradient. It should be this third box in. And let's click on that. And then you should end up with something like this. Now right here where it says edit. Let's click that edit button. And where it says add stop, we're going to click that once. And then we're going to come down here to where it says L, and we're going to make this really, really light, almost white. We don't want it white, but almost white, somewhere around there. Now let's go up here to the drop down menu, click on that, go to the middle selection here, click on that, and down here to the L, actually, no, down here to the A, we're going to click and drag this all the way to the right to bring the opacity all the way up. Okay? And then we're going to go back to the drop down and we're going to pick this last one here in our list. We're going to click that. We're going to do the same thing. Come down here to where it says A. Click and drag this all the way to the right. And come up here to where it says L. 
and let's click and drag this to the left to make it a lot darker. We're gonna we're, you're gonna want to make this really dark, almost black. You don't want it black, but almost black, something like that. That works pretty well. And once you've done that, let's close out. Let's close out of that menu, and come down here to your arrow. Let's click that and open up the gradient. If you don't see this arrow on your screen, it probably means you have the gradient button somewhere on this menu. It should be down here. If you just hover your mouse over the uh, over the buttons, it'll tell you what it is. Just look for the one that says gradient. If your screen looks like mine, great. Just click that and click gradient. And it's going to bring up these two handles right here. We're going to click the black the uh, the square right in the middle. Let's click and drag that over here to the right. I'd say about there, that looks good. And come over here to the box in the middle, and let's click and drag that over to the right a little bit. Just a smidge, not too much, maybe about there, I'd say that looks good. Okay, now come up here to the arrow, let's click on that, and with that selected, let's go to Path, Break Apart, to make that into two pieces again. Now deselect everything, and let's color in this top red piece right here. Let's click on that. Come over here to where it says opacity. Slide it all the way over to the right. And come up here where it says linear gradient. This is the second box in. Click on that. And come down to our drop down menu. And let's choose that blue gradient we just created a, a minute ago. And we're going to make it that color so it looks like that. All right. Now let's come over here. Do the same thing down here. Click on this bottom red circle. Slide the opacity all the way up. Click on linear gradient. Select the drop down menu and we're going to use our gradient. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do next is somewhat of a shortcut. This is not how I would normally go about coloring things in, but for the sake of this tutorial and then keeping this thing relatively easy for beginners, I'm going to use this method. What we're going to do is go to filter with that selected still. We're going to go to filter, color, and let's select desaturate. Give that a few seconds to work. There we go. We're going to do the same thing with the bottom piece. Click on that bottom, the bottom half of the circle. Filter, color, desaturate. So the top half and the bottom half are two different colors now. Normally, if I was just making this by myself, I would just color this in gray using the colors. But like I said, for the sake of the tutorial, I like to keep this easy for those of you who are beginners. So we're just going to, we're just going to do that for now. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to color in this blue circle. So let's click on that, slide the opacity all the way to the right, and let's turn that, come over here to the colors, and let's turn that red. Okay, come over here, click the gradient button, the linear gradient, second box in, click that, and let's go to edit. Now we're going to go to the drop down, we're going to select the second stop, and come down here to where it says A. Slide that all the way to the right, and then come up to the next row where it says L, and we're going to slide that left to make it darker. Again, we want to make it almost black, but not quite. Something like that works, okay? After that, let's X out of it, and let's come over here to this button right here that says Rotate Selection 90 Degrees Counterclockwise. We're going to click that once, okay? Now let's go over to our magnifying glass. Let's click on that. And let's click and drag over this circle we just created so we can zoom in and see what we're going to do here. Because what we're going to do next is going to be a little more intricate. We're going to need to see what we're doing. So once you've zoomed in, let's go to the arrow key. With that selected, go to Edit, Duplicate. And over here where it says Flip Selected Objects Vertically, let's click that once. And holding Control and Shift on your keyboard, let's click and drag this this arrow right here and let's make it smaller let's make it about let's make it about that small okay now let's zoom back out just just press one on your keyboard and that'll bring you out just like that okay so uh, what do we do next okay next we're gonna create a circle we're gonna create another circle we want it to be almost as big as this one but not quite maybe three quarters the size of that one maybe even two-thirds we'll see how it looks so let's come over here and create a circle Hold control, click and drag, click and drag on your screen to create the circle. Come back to your arrow, and with that selected, holding your shift key, click on the top half of the blue blue circle, and come down here to where to our align distribute menu, 
we're going to click center on vertical axis and we're going to go up here where it says align top edges kind of like that okay now let's deselect everything now using this we're going to click this red square and using your control key hold down control let's click and drag it down just a smidge just a little bit like that we don't want it touching the top edge like that but then again we don't want it all the way down here like this we want it just a little bit sort of like that you want it about that far away like that okay now click the arrow let's click that and let's turn this white and come back up here to where it says linear gradient we're gonna we're gonna click that and we're gonna end up with something like that once you've done that come back over here to our gradient button it should be under this arrow if your screen looks like mine if you're using a bigger display like I said you're gonna have the gradient icon over here so go to gradient and it's gonna bring up these two handles right here let's take this the one on the left this box let's click and drag it up here to the very top just like that and let's take this bottom one the circle and we're gonna come and go straight down a little bit above the edge of this uh, bevel we created here you could hold down your control key on your keyboard to make it go straight up and down if you're not holding down control it'll go you know it'll be a little off like that but holding control you can go straight down just a little bit above that and that should be fine just like that okay now let's go to our arrow click on that now let's click and drag over the whole thing just like that select the whole thing let's group it together and we're gonna make another circle almost the same size as this just a little bit smaller though so let's click and drag and create a circle um, it's gonna be white let's just let's just uh, turn it black okay go to your arrow go back to your arrow click and drag and holding shift click on our graphic so we have them both selected and let's center them up you're gonna click center on vertical axis center on horizontal axis and let's deselect everything now let's click on this black circle and let's make this a little bigger we want this about holding control and shift yeah hold control and shift in your keyboard and let's make it a little bigger like that all right once you get it about that size come up here to where it says lower selection one step and let's click that once so we get something like that okay now let's click and drag over the whole thing let's group it together and let's hold control and shift and let's shrink it down a little bit let's make it about that big and let's create uh, a box over the whole thing this is going to be like a black backdrop for it so we're going to click our rectangle button and just click and drag over this whole thing like this go to your arrow and come up here to where it says lower selection to the bottom click that once all right now let's center this up let's click the graphic hold shift click the background center on vertical axis center on horizontal axis and deselect everything now let's click this graphic and go to edit duplicate and come over here to where it says ungroup click that once and then click it a second time and go to path union so you end up with something like that now let's turn that white and let's come up here to where it says lower selection one step let's click that once and bring it down below our graphic and come over here to the opacity slider right above that we have the, the blur slider so let's let's blur that a little bit let's click and drag it to the right just a little bit about that much and you're gonna see it's gonna give it a glowing effect maybe we can click it a little more um, whatever you think looks best I tend to think subtle subtle glows look best so I think about there 7.7 .7 blur I'd say that looks pretty good now let's click on our background our black our black background and come up here to where it says radial gradient third box in let's click on that and let's go to edit click on edit and let's come over here to where it says L and let's make that slightly lighter just a smidge maybe about that much and then come to our drop down menu go up here and go to the second stop click on that and come down to where it says A click and drag this all the way to the right 
If you're not seeing this on your screen, like I said, make sure to have the HSL tab selected. You don't want RGB or CMYK. You want HSL, just like that. Okay, so as you can see, we see what we did here. We put a, a radial gradient on the background here, so it isn't all just flat black. There's a little bit of um, little bit of gray in the center as well. We can actually lighten that up a little bit. Let's go to the the uh, the drop down. Go to the go to the stop, the first stop, the one on top that we changed before. Let's click and drag this over to the right a little bit, lighten it up, see how that looks. Yeah, I'd say that looks good. Okay, so let's X out of that, and we're done. You've now created a 3D beveled orb, sphere, whatever you want to call it. You can click and drag over the whole thing, group it together. Um, I tend to like how it looks when it's shrunken down like that. I think it looks better from a distance. You could also enlarge it like that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, or if I've done anything wrong, or I accidentally skipped a step in this tutorial, just let me know and I'll, I'll take care of it. Alright, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.